I'm Jesse with Arizona Camper Van, and this is my van, Arcadia. This content is sponsored by Outdoorsy. Through Outdoorsy, you can rent your camper van out to make extra cash, and you can rent a van to try van life before you commit. Arcadia is a 2015 Ford Transit. It, it actually started off as a passenger van. We took it all apart and converted it into what it is now. Come on in, let's check out the inside. So in here, we wanted a really open layout. It does have the option to put seats in. We just don't offer it that way as a rental anymore. It gets a little crowded with both seats in here. This is the mid-roof model, so it's not quite tall enough for me to stand in here. I'm 6'1". For shorter people, uh, it works perfectly. And even for me, it's not that bad, you know? Just gotta tuck my head in a little bit. So one of our main goals with this build was to keep it simple. We wanted to make it easy to use and um, you know, easy to repair work on, just uh, easy all around. This fridge is a 110 volt fridge. It's always on, it runs off of the inverter. It really doesn't pull that much power. It pretty much runs continuously all the time. It's nice because it has a nice big freezer. Got some ice cream in there. And you know, the fridge space is good, so not bad there. But really simple there. Um, down here we have our diesel heater. That puts out a ton of heat. If you've seen, you know, other vans or other van videos, that's, that's a must have. Keeping it simple, I didn't want cabinets in here. I didn't want drawers. I didn't want hinges, uh, slides, you know, things that rattle loose, things that need to be repaired constantly. Um, any RV owner, camper van owner knows all about that. We just have open shelves, removable baskets. These little liners keep everything from rattling around in there. Um, it's actually really quiet going down the road and really good storage. Plus it looks really cool. Over here we have our sink. It's just a Kohler bar sink, smaller one. We, we wanted to keep it small so it didn't take up too much counter space. It has 20 gallons of water that it runs off of and a water pump. Um, so when that water pump is on, it basically just works like a regular sink. It is just cold water. We didn't put a water heater in here. Again, just to keep it simple. Up here we have our heater panel. Uh, that just controls the heater, really simple, easy to use too. And the countertop material is quartz on this one. Um, it was really a leftover piece from a remodel that a friend did. So a lot of sort of recycled or leftover materials in here. But it looks great and works great, no maintenance at all. Then below we just have some open storage and here it's completely open. Down here a few baskets. A lot of people ask about these and how they were cut out. We just used some hole saws and connected it with the jigsaw, sanded it out smooth. They look really good and the corners are nice and smooth, so works out well. One of the most popular features on this van is this floor. Again, staying with the reused, recycled uh, materials. It was left over from a friend's house remodel. It is concrete. Um, they're concrete tiles. It is a little heavy, but there's not much of it in here. Um, if you were to you know, cover the whole floor and another type of flooring, it would be almost as much weight. There are some uh, aluminum uh, L-Track in here. That's for the two seats that I mount in here when we use it personally for my two kids. Another really cool feature on this van is the shower. We uh, had to have one because we had four people in here riding bikes. Um, we just weren't gonna go, you know, 10, 12 days without showering. So we built the shower. It is completely self-contained. So it drains into a gray water tank underneath the van. It runs off of the same water tank as the sink. So it's, it's that 20 gallon uh, water tank. So you do have to be conservative with water. Um, that's not a whole lot of water, but you can definitely get a lot of showers out of it. It's made out of solid surface acrylic. This is a half inch material, so it doesn't take up much space in the van. This is just all one material. It's completely waterproof at the seams. You know, there's really no, no issues with leaking or anything like that. It is cold, so no water heater again, but uh, it helps you be conservative with the water because you don't want to be in there too long with, uh, with freezing cold water. 
in here we have a cassette toilet. It is completely removable, so it can be pulled out to shower or pulled out completely if you don't want it in there. It is really convenient to have. Um, they're pretty primitive, uh, but they work well. And it seals up completely so you don't get smells or anything like that in here. And it's, you know, it's just simple and nice to have, especially with kids. Up here we just have a standard shower curtain. And in here just the shower head, regular handheld shower head. This is an RV style head, so it um, it's made for lower pressure and uh, water conservation. It works really well. We did make sure to keep one of the lights in here. Um, when you have that curtain closed, it's nice to have, have good light in the shower. So one of my favorite features in this van is the ceiling. It is sort of barnwood style shiplap. Really cool look, you know, straight lines, just uh, kind of a rustic look. But yeah, I love the color. I love the way it looks. It's one of, one of my favorite parts of it. Then for lighting, we just kept it simple. Uh, six uh, LED puck lights, um, really low power consumption, just on a regular switch here. We went with a raised fixed bed. It was really important to us to fix the bikes in here. That's the reason we built this van. So we, we wanted to make sure we could fit four bikes underneath the bed. It is pretty large, the bed. It's almost uh, it, it's it's almost the width of a queen with this area here. I have big shoulders, so I have like a, uh, this area is a little wider than the rest of the bed. But yeah, once you're laying in there, it, you have 75 inches in length. So more than enough room for me to stretch out at 6'1". There's a few inches uh, above me there. Since it is raised, I can't really sit up there comfortably. Some people do, but I, I don't really sit comfortably on a bed anyway. So I'm never up there. If I'm up there, I'm asleep. Then in here, we just have a, a pass-through sort of curtain. This rolls up and snaps onto here, but it's just to have easy access to the garage, to your luggage or the bikes or whatever else you have back there. Up above the bed here, we do have the uh, Max Air Deluxe fan. It is the shrouded model, so you can have it open while driving or in the rain. It has pretty much every function a fan can have. It pulls air out, pushes it in, works as a ceiling fan, but really nice to have. It pulls out air when you're showering, uh, takes care of the condensation. All right, so since we did the raised bed, we have a ton of storage down here. It does fit four bikes. There's four bike mounts and adapters for through axle bikes obviously we have the battery bank back here that's almost 400 amp hours i forget what it is exactly 380 or something like that that charges off of solar and off of the alternator and it's enough power to run the van continuously so it works really well back here we have the solar charge controller water pump and inverter really the things you don't need to mess with um, i mean you can plug into the inverter if you need to charge something but aside from that, you don't need to touch any of it. It all, it all works automatically. You don't need to do anything with it. Right underneath, we have our water tank. That's just the standard water tank. Fills up right behind me. A couple hoses to fill it with and um, holds 20 gallons. The big bin has all the cooking supplies. So portable camp stove, pots, pans, plates, bowls, all the utensils, cutting board, cleaning supplies. Basically everything is in there. Pretty much set up so that you can cook and eat a good meal and clean up afterward. I hope you liked Arcadia. We really love it. Everyone that camps in it seems to love it. If you want to follow us, obviously we're on Outdoorsy. You'll see all of our vans there and our Jeep. We have a Jeep too that we rent out. We're on Instagram, at Arizona Camper Van, all spelled out. If you see us on the road, make sure to give us a honk and a wave. We'll wave back. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.